uh, a circuit from a very simple loudness uh, control. And loudness is needed when you want to play your music in a living room on a low audio level. It has all to do with the properties from the human ear and how the human ear uh, perceives sound. And uh, that's why this circuit is often used. But this circuit that I uh, publish now uh, is invented here. And it is a very simple circuit. Only one transistor here. Here is the input. Here is the output. And the key is that we have here a connection to a non-polar cap capacitor, a foil capacitor, and a potentiometer. They both um, take away a part of the high frequencies. And they make that we have here at the output a more warm sound with more low frequencies. I want to demonstrate that now. I hope it's, you can hear it. The, the low frequencies are now uh, amplified, the high frequencies are suppressed, and I turn this potentiometer here. And when I do that, the sound changes. Red or chili peppers, as far as I can hear. I hope I'm not whistled back by Google. Here we have again the warm sound. Whistled back because perhaps this music is not copyrighted anyway. It's only a demo uh, in case of this video. Here are the pin connections from the user sister. The schematic again. Of course, your amplifier and your loudspeaker box must be able to reproduce a good bass sound. That's normal. Very easy to understand. Here the scope view from the music at the moment. I don't know uh, what music. But let's give it more high. That's visible here. Now the maximum high is added. By the way, I use a radio. Now as a music source, a high is added. And high is suppressed, taken away. Very clear to see on the scope. I use this old stereo Walkman from Sony. It proves the very good quality from this radio in the 80s. Anyway, this is the experimental circuit. Here the schematic again. It takes some time to show it completely. And I wish you luck.